All right, we're here at Eden Gardens in Moore Park, and we're gonna show you the layout. This pathway will take you down to reception. This pathway goes down to the entrance area and also a spot where they have a pre-gathering area, gathering area. Today, ceremony was off-site. So near all these amazing flamingos, we've got a pre-gathering area and they've got a bar set up over there. Once we're ready to move them into cocktail hour, they will just walk right down this path. Now this is actually the ceremony area. Again, as I mentioned, the ceremony was off-site today, but they have an absolutely beautiful area, complete with market lights and everything and a nice little rotunda. So uh, typically, if ceremony was on site, they would come directly here, but uh, because ceremony was off-site, they're in the pre-gathering area and they'll come down this pathway and we'll bring them right into cocktail hour. There's a little seating chart. So cocktail hour is split into two areas. You can see the bar and all the tables and we placed one speaker here. And they will also be able to use the ceremony area as a secondary cocktail. So we've run another speaker right here. So there is music on both sides. And we love these EV speakers because they're just so clean and uh, the throat ratio pattern on them is so wide that one speaker will fill the entire area. So there's the bar for cocktail. And now we're gonna take you down to the reception area. All right, so we are on our way to reception. This is the pathway where they're doing their um, some bridal shots with the couple and uh, all the guests will come down from cocktail hour. They'll pass this amazing fountain. And we'll head into the reception area. So this is our space today for reception. Uh, DJ booth is nestled uh, in the corner here. Got an amazing platform for the sweetheart table and also the cake. We've done a small lighting system just to wash some colors and patterns into this dance floor. Although you can see, we'll show you later, but they've got market lights around the whole space. And it actually fits a lot of guests. They have about 190 today. So I really like this space because it feels cozy. It feels very intimate, but you can actually get a lot of guests in here. And look how nice that is. One thing I hate is when the dance floor is way too big and it's difficult to fill. So we've got a nice size dance floor here and it's very accessible. So guests can all just move right over and jump on the floor. And uh, that is it. Now there is one other area for post reception dancing or possibly a second reception area. And we're gonna show you that now. It's this really cool pavilion. Look at this, what an amazing space. Love this architecture. Um, obviously you could do an entire reception in here or you could do dancing in here. Uh, there is some natural lights just to enhance the ceiling, but we would definitely recommend doing up lights along all these columns, which would create a really beautiful glow, make the space look really nice. And since it is a giant concrete area, if this was dancing, we would add, if it was dancing only and there were no dinner tables, then we would encourage them to add more couches. Like you can see they have in the back corner, add some high tops to fill the space in. And then we would do a, a premium lighting system to kind of create a perimeter for dancing. You can see it's just a really big concrete space, but once the sun drops, if we do some really nice pattern lighting, we can fill this in really nicely. Uh, restrooms are right back through there. Here is another spot for the sweetheart table if this was a reception area. And lastly, I'm gonna show you my favorite thing about this whole darn place, I think. This adorable little house. How cute is this? This is about all I could afford with LA pricing. But one, one thing for vendors, photographers and DJs is always, where can we put our stuff? And they were like, hey, you have your own tiny little house for all your stuff. I, 
I just think this is amazing. And that is it. That is the setup here at Eden Gardens in Moore Park.